It's a uh, from Manawaki, and I wanted to pick some sort of I wanted to pick some sort of heavy haul because I prefer those. Here's the available all the available loads from Manawaki. Uh, there's this one that goes. I wanted to go east too. This goes goes to Bay Como. This one goes to Bay Como also. And this one goes to Bay Como. A lot of guys. Then over to Chaplo, which is a nice, interesting drive, or thought in Quebec City, but I think I want to take this one. I don't think I'm not sure if I've done one that heavy before. Uh, I think my milling machine was 43 tons, so this will be a little more, but we'll see how it goes. I don't think there's, there's no Rocky Mountain Hills. So we'll set it and get it. Yes, 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 blah, blah, blah. Of course we're good. Of course we're good. Here we are. Got the flags. Got everything. Press the key to find fun. Yes. I'll take that job. bit of shrubbery in the parking lot there. Uh, this one I suspect will be well, it's sort of jammed in the corner. Is it? Oh, that's good. Uh, sometimes they're moved up next to those uh, a little close to the containers and such and it's hard to get in there. Lift axle, uh, just for appearance's sake. It doesn't really have to go down. It doesn't help. Uh, doesn't really help to carry a heavier load. However. If you lift it, it helps you on the hill where you need to better tra traction because it dumps more weight actually on the back of the truck or on the, on the drive axles. That's kind of a nice, sort of a nice picture. Let's get rid of some of these things. Take a snapshot. There we go. Things back. Okay. All these clunking noises in the background are kind of cute too. Uh, this is a trailer that's got a stinger in the back and the Jeep in the front, so this is sort of the longest that they have. They also added a while ago uh, a few tie-down points, so they got, well, they got one, two, hard to tell. I think they got four chains. I know Uncle Sergey on YouTube. At least eight chains on that. Well, I keep forgetting that I it's probably better to go the other way when I come out of this place. Kind of loads. Because then I can get a better run at the. Uh, uh oh, 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 oh. Looking in the mirror, I think I'll clip the back. I almost clipped the uh, back end on that, on the concrete. Uh, okay, so we're going right. So let's take a nice angle at it. Since nobody's going to come in here anyways, we're good. Uh, right turn on the red. Well, yeah, doable. But not necessary. Uh, yeah, we're good here. Sorry, I was just checking something. Uh, 
think we should be okay. Back end is somewhat that's embarrassing. Let's back up a bit. Let's go way over. Us. I wonder if this is longer than the last one of these that I pulled. It seems to be tracking even less. I mean following even less in the uh, footsteps of the truck. We'll find out in this corner. Anybody coming? Not directly. Good. We'll get our dinkies in. Nice little stop back there when he sees my whatever. 53 tons coming at him. Even though they are, I believe, metric tons. They're pretty well the same as the unmetric ones. Uh, peace now. Change light. Breakable, but I turned the brakes back on this. And the steering, or not the steering, and the uh, stability. Just so I uh, add a bit more realism. But with less brakes and a heavy load, uh, you have to drive it like a heavy truck and plan ahead. Usually a little even more so in rain. Uh, what do we got up here? We got a T junction coming up. I think. Hopefully not with a lot of traffic. One of my mods is a realistic traffic mod, which adds, I think it's DP's realistic tra traffic mod. It's called. It's, um, it's a workshop. It's from the workshop, but it uh, adds. Adds more traffic depending on the location, time of day, and stuff. So, okay, now we gotta wait for everybody to come here. We've been in this boat before, I think. Oh, he's gonna let me go. Uh, okay, thank you. Now these guys on the right are gonna let me go, which is nice of them. I'm gonna get right over here in case that guy decides to move ahead. No, he didn't. Good. Didn't want to catch him when I got my trainer. The only problem with this traffic mod is sometimes you can get stuck for a long time and then you have to get a little aggressive. If you pull out a bit, the trucks will let you in. Or if you pull out far enough that you're blocking a lane, they definitely let you in. So oh, let's uh, let's check out our map here and see just see where we're going. Uh, we got some nice tall pines there. World map. Uh, we've gassed up and uh, I think we did. I hope we did. We actually waited. Uh, we actually took on a rest period just to get a better. There's some gas there. Just to get a better, better run at uh, at jobs, we got a new set of jobs. So we're going to go through Montreal, possibly, and then we're going to stay. We're going to go um, what they call the North Shore, being the North Shore of the St. Lawrence. Uh, we're going to go past uh, Trois Rivières, past Quebec City, all the way up uh, to Bay Como. Uh, Setil is after that. I don't know. We might get a job from there. We could take a job up to Labrador City. That'd be interesting. Possibly not snowy, but still an interesting job. Back to driving. Um, this is interesting. I haven't seen him doing this on the map where he's got gravel on both sides of the road going into the trees. Oops. Sure. 
that sometimes when I get one of these long loads if I'm on the highway on a left hand curve I gotta watch that I'm not hanging over the dotted line. I hope this um this is going to Twitch and then after it's on Twitch I export to YouTube and my first five or six slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. And watch the back end. Uh, my first fiber. No, it's okay, we're not gonna hit you. My first fiber six, I uh oh, where the hell did you come from? Transfer the me transfer the measly from uh, Twitch just export to YouTube. Need a little Twitch message. Export okay, I need a little YouTube message. Received okay, uh, and uh, then I've got uh, started getting Twitch messages this morning that it failed. Uh, wasn't I forget what the message is, uh, but you wasn't able to send it, and I looked at uh, YouTube and it, it got something, but it, then it has canceled on it. So. Don't know a lot I went ahead and I tried playing around uh, with various things in the, you know, in the file name and stuff like people suggested, but I think it's sort of a random thing, so when people say I, you know, I changed the file name to lowercase and it worked, well, it might be just because that was the, the time it was going to work. I did a little 30 second uh, video and tested and it went through fine, so the next, this one may go through fine, but it may not. What I ended up doing was, uh, downloading from Twitch to my computer and then uploading from my computer to YouTube. Which took a while because it's a it wasn't it was like a 48 minute or something, but it was a gig file. And then YouTube has to has to do more processing. Um, I think if it goes directly from Twitch to YouTube, it's maybe they leave it encoded differently and make it more efficient. No, this is doable as a workaround, but it's still freaking annoying. Where are we for the gas station? Good. If we look here at the uh, supposedly the display in the top display, it says we got. 346 liters, 3.5 liters, and distance 824, 822 kilometers. Uh, I should set up the zoom. I wonder if I can set it up so the bind it so that the scroll on the wheel zooms it in. That'd be nice. Yeah, because you actually can now zoom in on the uh, dial. And you notice I've dumped the steering wheel because I've got a steering wheel in front of me. Why would I want another one? That's a nice option they have. Um, uh, and I think it's just a desktop option. Console option, I mean, you could uh, disable. Anyways, uh, back to my favorite position. Sitting on the roof of the truck. Uh, my lights on. There we go, just the running lights. We're back to grass on either side of the road and berm. And uh, we will all the same kind of trees, but they will probably as we get as we get a little farther south. Uh, in real life you're getting out of strictly pine trees and into a mixed forest. Oh, nice hill. We might even go faster. There we are. I'm limited to, so I got the speed limiter turned on, which is uh, 90 miles an hour, or I think 104 kilometers an hour, so I can actually speed if I have long enough to drop it. This is a 550 horsepower engine, and then an 18, 18 speed transmission. Uh, I'm, I just use it in full automatic mode, uh, unless I want to 
hill or in somewhere where I don't want the automatic to hunt up and down looking for a perfect gear. And I can quickly go to the sequential and then I just use a couple of keys to go up and down. I used to use the um, shifter, the A27 shifter, for going through the manual. I've done that. The uh, range splitter, but uh, that used two keys on the console, or on the, yeah, on the shifter uh, console, and I've lost all those keys with my latest uh, G27 issue. Can't use the Logitech driver anymore, or have to use the Windows 10 version 1709 creator version or whatever. I have to use their version of the driver and it's that's 80% there. I have to turn off force feedback too. Uh, because it's just too jittery with force feedback turned on. So. That's too bad because it's kind of nice. You'd feel, well you'd feel some of the bigger bumps. was even better in uh, Spin Tires Mud Runner because you're driving through serious mud and you're fighting the wheel all the time. That was kind of cool. Uh, maybe Windows will come out with a match or maybe Logitech. Well, finally, they've had it, this problem for, well, I think for nine months. So perhaps they would give birth to a new version of their driver to fix things. Uh, is this a gas station coming up? Possibly a channel. Could be a Canadian Petro Canada. Let's stop. When it don't get gas. You're never sure when it's gonna be. You're gonna need it at the mileage left, the miles left estimate or kilometers left estimate. Not always that accurate. If you have a heavy load. tend to burn through gas at, or diesel at twice the rate that it says you are. Yeah, it doesn't even compensate. It just... Okay, brakes, 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 brakes. <laughs> really don't want to overshoot. Uh, diesel, 116. No, oh, I think it was like 65 cents or something over on the border of Saskatchewan and Alberta. Wonder why. It's virtual money anyways. Oh, look, I got three hundred and seven thousand dollars. Because I think I have another other drivers that are out there making money for me. here with rain on the windshield it was just smeared it was really really badly it was just all blurry and shimmering and I'm pretty sure it's because the they have improved the rain functionality or whatever detail level of the rain in this 1.29 release and it was just a little just a bit more information, a little bit too much for my, oh, this must be much help, too much for my uh, video card, so I'm on high, not ultra settings, and that gets me 60 FPS, and looks fine to me, and I 
dialed the rain probability, or not the rain probability, but the rain setting on the video card back a notch. Take a picture, pretend we're in downtown Montreal. We're going to have a left turn soon. Oh, I was just wondering if it was clear, and apparently I swung the ass end around enough that uh, the guy behind it was going to pass me. Panicked. Montreal discovered, yes. can be a problem with heavy loads if you're going across the border, apparently. This Uncle Sergey that I follow on YouTube, uh, one of the things he has to do when he brings... He runs a... He runs a, a low boy like this. Um, and has a flip axle in the back. And he has to... Uh, he's going across the border. He can't have mud and dirt and crap, I guess. Agricultural concerns. So he has to get the truck power washed, or the cargo power washed, and all the crap taken out of the treads. Uh, what's our time look like? Uh, we're going to get there oh. tonight at 9 p.m. That's pretty good. I wonder how dark it will be then. Let's just get up here and have a good look. Sir. Oh, uh, thank you, sir. Let's go this way. That's better. Oh, there's the UPS guys. Or UDS, sorry. Um, if you see a back view of that truck, they're sitting there with the flashing lights, and there's a guy standing there, and there's a guy sitting. No, I don't know whether they've got the UPS shorts on. Have I uh, missed a turn? I have, you know. Pity to fool, eh? Uh, what do I wonder why I had an arrow going to the right and the left. Glad I checked. Okay, sports fans. Oh, there's a nice older older building hotel tire exchange certainly excuse me uh, oh you're actually gonna let me go okay I'll take a while to get there so inching forward. Sometimes the AI lets you go and sometimes it changes its mind. Um, ooh, that's a traditional looking uh, Montreal building. Uh, although in the old city there are buildings like that and then they have um, iron fire escapes going up the front of the building on the outside, three floors worth. Whacked on the front. I'm proud. So here's some of the, um, I think possibly some of the road detail I got from that realistic roads option. Oh, there's a nice cafe up there. 
everybody sitting outside in Quebec, enjoying uh, some wine and cheese. Supermarket over there. No, we can't see it now. Um, Ray's Burgers. Ray being the guy who bought McDonald's from. McDonald's, I believe. Ooh. Oh, that's right, there's my left turn arrow. Aha, I jumped it. And I got a $700 fine, which I think I've got less money now. Nope, the trees in town. Pine trees. Um, our ETA is probably going to keep getting a little better because we're doing better. I think it calculates it's 70 miles an hour. I'm doing more than that. So. Oops, I get another ticket. And now we're fine. Leaving Montreal. small road and those trees are very close because uh, you drive right through the branches. Pay attention to these. I'm not paying attention to that. The back end. Like I should be. Possibly won't even need more gas. Way station. Where's the gas? There's one on the wrong side of the road. Well, we're probably okay. We've got 478 kilometers to go, and we suppose we can get 1,600 kilometers out of this tank, so I think we're okay. Even if it's uh, half that, we're good. 
So once we get to Bay Como, um, there may be a there may be a ferry across the south shore in real life, but not on the map. So Bay Como, I guess our choice is to go up to Labrador City and down, and then if we want to go down, I want to go to the east coast. So we have to. I guess you have to go back and cross. I wonder where he's made the crossing. Oh, back to Quebec City. That's not bad. And then maybe down through Gaspé and New Brunswick. And then to uh, Nova Scotia. That would be nice. Nothing on PEI, this little island right here. Uh, there's a bridge, but and nothing to Newfoundland. Damn. Again, a ferry ride, but this map, these maps do, do we do ferries? Oh, uh, yet more Christmas trees. I think that's probably going to be it all the way along the coast here. It'd be nice if we saw the St. Lawrence River, but, uh... That may happen closer to Bay Como. Probably should be seeing more glimpses of, the, of it along here, but I think the problem is once you open up the vista towards the river, then you gotta you gotta build that into the scenery. A long view. There's the river. Across the river, there's the other side. So. And Trois Rivières. Um, sometimes going past the place is enough to discover, and sometimes you have to take a little detour and get. Halfway into town, and then pull a U-turn or something, and come back up. Not sure why that guy chickened out. I wasn't that much over the road, but he decided not to pass me. Uh, oh, what do we have here? I don't know. Let's change lanes. Cause I think it's something weird. Oh, we're gonna drive through a tree. So this uh, engine gives us, uh, I think I've mentioned this, 550 horsepower. But this kind of load, it, it gets, it'll eventually on a flat, it'll get me up to um, 100k. But it takes a while. I had a van years ago that was a uh, X Bell Canada truck, and it was a Ford Econoline flat front and a uh, mid engine six cylinder. Uh, mid meaning uh, it was between the two seats. You had a little hatch. The service if you had a hatch that you opened that was like a couple of feet long. here guys. Yep, so you can have to let us in. Or not. Oh. Uh, okay, I'll let you in now too. If I block the traffic. Oh, this is interesting. We have, um, oops, not enough tie-downs. 
one of the uh, randomly dynamically designed elements in this 1.29 they got stuff like that that supposedly happens at semi-random locations around the map. Oh, here we are gearing down to hill. Uh, in preparation, I'm going to lift my axle because I get more traction. Well, six is good. No. Oh, we're good. I found with my other load, whatever the way station, way station open. The forty ton I actually stopped on a hill reading something and uh, had to manually put it in first put on the parking brake and lift the ac axle this extra one here uh, way station oh that means we can't bypass the little red light means this time go in. Which happens with regular trucks. They don't always get uh, pulled in. I'm not sure what the rule is. Stop here. You mean here? No, they're not going to give me a split axle weight. They're just going to say my gross weight is 73 tons. And giving that this is, I think, 50, 53. That means 20 tons is truck and trailer and driver. Oh, I'm not that heavy. I've lost a few pounds. Anybody uh, sneaking up on me? No. Hopefully this is... Um, hopefully this is going to be... Ah, look, there's nobody coming. Good. It's a bit of a hill. Unusual that they would... Oh, well, there you go. There's the St. Lawrence River. South Shore. Yes. Not today. Montreal. Oh, the loop is go back to Montreal. If like you go south, cross the one. No. Okay, so um, what will this sign up here say then? Montreal exit, and it gave you the option to actually go uh, along. I think it's uh, 50. Route 50 goes all along the south shore to the gas base. E. Coffee here. Mm. Cold coffee. That's one reason I just switched to uh, no milk in my coffee. After several years as a teenager drinking with milk and sugar, because all my friends did, I discovered that I didn't like it with milk. I liked it much better without milk, and the advantage was also when it was cold. Well, it just tastes like cold coffee.
two-lane and some uh, grass, some rough grass on either side, and then trees. A bit of a berm. The blocks the line of sight. And uh, a nice sky, no rain. Uh, I should have should have changed the rain probability on this so that we would actually get some and I could see if I fixed the issue. driving with the keyboard because when my uh had a couple of days when my G twenty seven controller didn't work. And uh, driving with the keyboard just drove me crazy. Uh, and I and I lacked the coordination to do it properly, so my muscles were just second eh? My muscles in my hand would cramp up like mad. Definitely drove me to find a solution. Glad I didn't buy another 
control right either, either. It's uh, online and it'd be useless. Some guy in auto had a controller pedal and shifter for 200. Like a GC, it might have maybe for less. We negotiated. I said it was in new condition. But I tried this controller on my laptop and it didn't work there either. But that either meant that the controller was broken because it was, didn't work there or the laptop was running the same software, so maybe the software was broken, so it didn't really prove anything. But now I've got this working. Um, I'm wondering if that guy is selling his his controller because it doesn't work anymore and he just got frustrated. Well, I thought mine was broken. I was ready just to leave it by the curb. My son was uh, sympathetic and, and amused at the same time by my despair. Because he suspected I was overreacting. Now as the evening, uh, as evening falls, we get a bit of mist, which is kind of cool. Maybe because it is kind of cool, that's what happens. It's still not that dark. It's 8 o'clock. Oh, good. Rain. Let's... Is it going to be a blurry, scary windshield? What do you think? Yes, it is. Oh, I haven't turned it down enough. I wonder if I can do that right here. We'll just stop on the road. Who cares? Actually, I didn't need to stop, did I? Adjust the video settings. And the weather. High. Medium. Apply. Do you want to keep these settings? Yes, I do. Thank you for your patience. Get back into gear. That we did. <laughs> uh, we can turn the wipers on. We don't need to, because apparently there's no rain on the windshield because we've turned the settings down. I thought it worked on the uh, high setting before, not the medium. But maybe I have to actually stop and restart. Maybe it's a function of. See, look at the FPS, we're down to 30 FPS. Even with this, uh... Yeah, I don't see any jerkiness on the screen, but... Uh, that rain detail is just driving my car crazy. Um... The, uh, I think we're going to dial it back. It's in the well, 1.29, then several versions came out of the beta testing. And there was, I noticed in the details of the, what was, what was in the, the release notes, there was, um, they had, they'd increased the rate detail, and then there was uh, another another fix that came out after that as they were working on that beta version and it was additional rate detail so it sounds like they cranked up even more but uh, they may get pushback from people or they may well no they don't really have to fiddle with it because you can fiddle with it in your video settings I uh, mentioned in the forum that I was having problems put our high beams on, we get, uh, in real life, when we put our high beams on, we should get even more reflection from the rain. I think you should get less visibility. Are these guys going to flash their high beams at me? No. So apparently it's not dark enough. When it gets really dark, that's sort of the mandatory high beam, or mandatory headlight time their high beams on. Thunder and lightning. Oh my. Oh, there's somebody flashing. No, um, 
no crazy people passing. Um, I think that was on the. There was a traffic mod that was that was running a realistic traffic mod on the ETS map. And uh, yeah, 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 I did. There would be um, every once in a while somebody would be a line of cars and somebody would pull out to pass. Not a good shit. And I can't stop on a dime. My my brakes aren't, uh, aren't aren't set very high on this. Oh, what are we doing here? We don't want to stop on this hill. Axle up. happens sometimes they use the AI screw you up. I thought those guys were going even slower. I didn't need to break as much as I did. Uh, I'll my flashes on it just to be cool. Got somebody coming behind. Oh yeah, listen to my ass as they go faster. I'm going fast as I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. God. Did you see my flashes? I mean, those green cars. Yeah, well. I'd go to my heart back, but it's this little. <laughs> Note to self find the real air horn. Resolution there on the screen so we can see where we have to go in Bay Como to drop off our thing. Oh, there's somebody parked by the side of the road. Bay Como discovered. Uh, we'll be okay. We're within the white lines. It's a bus. The back door's open. Somebody obviously opened the back and looked at it. I don't know, I'm just the bus driver. Something something in there is broken. Now that's a left turn arrow. Not me. Uh you can turn right on a red in Quebec. Let's turn right on a green in Quebec. even in Europe. Somebody coming through, what are you going to do? Oh good, nobody's coming. Curbs coming right out to the edge of the road. Jerks. Bay Como drop off. Uh, this is going to be, I suspect, since it's a humongous load, it's going to be one of those where you're given the option to either just bail, get out of the truck and run, or like dump it right here. Or. Oh, I think we're probably going to have to pull it to the right and get it in the spot. I've rarely been able to do that because, yeah, 
we'll try. The problem is, it's uh, what's happening at the back when I do that. The back is good. Okay, now oh, this is going this way. Uh, the nice thing is they give you the they get, keep giving you this option right to the very end. So even if you pull through, uh, because this is uh, pretty well impossible to jockey. If it doesn't line up on its own, then sorry, no, it's not going to line up. It's not going to be close enough. I don't think. a bit of money, points. And we have money and points. Uh, and we're level 15. Good. And we're going to add to... Let's add fuel economy. Cuts down the number of times we have to stop. Now, let's see what we can take for the next one. We're not going to do it now, but if we were going to do it... Uh, Bay Como... Cargo weight, I'm not very heavy. Be Como down into the, whoa, down into Fayetteville, North Carolina. No, I want to stay in the Canada Dream map, map. The point of these things is to explore the map. One still in the U.S. to Albany, over to Toronto. Yeah, I could. I've lived in Toronto. I like Toronto. Ah, see, that'd be good. Be Como to Moncton. That's going to take me through a bunch of that stuff. And it's a B train. And down to the States again, and hop, back to Maniwaki with a reservoir tank or a road, road down to Cleveland. No, nope, I think next trip we'll probably take this one, but um, we'll gas up and uh, guess up and get organized. So that's it for now. Now I gotta see if I can actually load this one over to YouTube directly rather than playing around. Thanks for watching.